Hi, my name is Robin Wong. I'm a photographer based in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. This is a macro extension ring. Is this a good alternative for a macro lens? I want to talk about that in this video. Let's do this. I bought this macro extension ring for about 90 ringgit or 20 US dollars. That is a really cheap alternative if you want to explore macro photography. I understand a lot of people may not want to do macro photography seriously, but they do still want to do a little bit of close-up shooting and there is the limitations on the lenses that they have. Instead of purchasing a macro lens, they can look for cheaper alternatives like this macro extension ring or other alternatives like reverse macro ring or macro filter to allow them to go closer to the subject without having having to spend that much money on a dedicated macro lens. I'm looking into this macro extension ring specifically in this video. I will not talk too much about how it works, the technicalities behind it. I just want to explore how to use it and focus on the results that we can get out of this cheap alternative. So what exactly is a macro extension ring? It is an attachment that you put in between the camera and the lens and it allows you to go much closer to the subject, achieving higher magnification. You can attach this macro extension ring to any micro four thirds lenses. Just make sure that the macro extension is the micro four thirds compatible mount. You can even use it on the kit lens, breaking the limitations of the close focusing distance, allowing you to go much closer to the subject. This macro extension ring also has built-in electronic contacts which allows you to control the aperture and there's full autofocus capabilities as well. And there are various extensions that you can attach on this to achieve different levels of magnification. The build quality of this macro extension ring, the particular one that I have is a Mickey version or is it called Mikey? The build quality is quite solid. There are no moving parts or creaky parts. Once it's attached, everything feels very reassuring and I have no issues using this whatsoever. And I can highly recommend this to anyone. And of course, I'll talk about the advantages and disadvantages of using this macro extension ring after you see some photographs. The great thing about using the macro extension ring is that it is so easy to use. All you have to do is just mount it to the front of the camera and then whatever lens that you want to turn into a macro lens in front of it. Yes, you can even use your kit lens and it works really well. Another amazing thing about using the macro extension ring is that you don't have any loss of image quality. There is virtually no loss of light. There is no glass elements in this extension ring. It's basically hollow. It just adds distance between the image sensor and the lens. This also depends on the lens that you use. If you're using kit lens, do not expect super awesome image quality. I attach my Olympus 45 f1.8, which is obviously sharper than my kit lens. So do get some decent results out of the 45 f1.8 attached to this macro extension ring. Of course, you can 
also attach this macro extension ring on a dedicated macro lens to go even closer to the subject and achieve higher magnification. I really like the fact that you can just use this macro extension ring with any lenses. It is so small and so light, you can tuck it in your camera bag without worrying about adding extra bulk or extra weight. So easy to use and carry around and you instantly have the ability to turn your lens into a macro lens. I think it is versatile, it is so convenient to use. Of course, there are some drawbacks to this macro extension ring. It is not the perfect macro solution. Number one is autofocus. While it does retain autofocus capabilities, the autofocus is limited. Not just autofocus, the ability to achieve the image in focus, even if you use manual. The ability to use this macro and get the image, the image is stuck at the macro range, meaning that you have to go really close to the subject at very high magnification, and that's it. You can't go, you can't go back, you can't take a photograph of things that's far away, or you can't take a photograph with a lens like it's a normal lens. You're basically stuck at a macro range by using this macro extension ring. Number two, image quality compromise. There's a reason why there are macro lenses. Macro lenses are designed to be optimized for close-up shooting. Shooting at such close distance, having such high magnification. Macro lenses are optimized for sharpness, resolving these fine details and achieving great contrast. I'm not saying other lenses are not good at getting sharp and high in contrast images, but other non-macro lenses, they are designed to show that objects they are at a different distance that is a little bit further away. So when you go really close, you need a different optical formula to achieve those different results. And knowing that these lenses that attach to the macro extension ring, using this as a macro alternative, you will never be able to get the same results as a true macro lens. Yes, I can still get quite a sharp result, I'm quite happy with what I got from my 45 f1.8 attached to this macro ring, but it is not the same as the quality that I get from, say, the Olympus 60 f2.8. The contrast is different, there's less bite and punch to the image, and it doesn't quite pop the same way. And to be quite frank, the images that I get from this 45 f1.8, they look quite flat. But as a cheap alternative, I'm perfectly happy with the images that I get from this combo. While they are not perfect, but they are still really good macro images. If you are a serious macro shooter, you do a lot of macro photography, I highly suggest that you get the Olympus 60 f2.8. I've made a video about that lens. I think it's a sharp, fantastic lens. I'll put the link to the video up here. Please check it out. If you don't do a lot of macro photography, but still want to explore macro, and still want to get a little bit of taste of what macro shooting is all about, then I suggest to look for cheaper alternatives, especially those of you who don't want to break the bank to do photography. Like myself, I don't want to spend ridiculously amount of money on my gear. I only spend on what's necessary. I don't have that much spare cash to throw around. Then this macro extension ring is definitely a good solution. It is cheap, it is so easy to use, it is convenient, and it works on any macro for thirds lenses. And and as I've said before, you can even attach it to your macro lens to have even more magnification. That's all I have to share about the macro extension ring and how you can use that as a cheap macro alternative. 
Do you have macro extension ring yourself? Are you using it for your own macro photography? Please let me know, share it with everyone else. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. If you've enjoyed looking at my photographs, if you found my sharing beneficial, please consider buying me a cup of coffee or you can contribute directly to my PayPal. Links in the description below on how I can do that. Any small contribution goes a long way, will definitely help me to continue making videos and publish them right here. Please give me a thumbs up, comment, share and subscribe. And I'll definitely see you again in the next one. Until then, please go out and take more photographs. Bye-bye.